So Fran, many congratulations on being the Football Writers Association's first Women's Footballer of the Year. How does it feel? Yeah, it's, it's a really proud moment for me um, to be the first recipient of this award. Uh, one that I'm not taking lightly at all. You know, I'm very privileged um, to be here and to be able to collect this award among some great nominees. Um, and obviously for the first time it to be a female award, so that's amazing. And of course, it's not just the—it's not the only award you've been picking up this year, is it? I mean, it, the, the, the trophies, the awards are coming thick and fast. Yeah, it's been a bit of a crazy year for me. I think, obviously, at the start, I probably never dreamed that you know I'd be able to get as many awards as I have done. Um, and obviously, winning the FA Cup um, has been kind of the icing on the top. And hopefully, you know, we win the league as well. So that's the most important thing. And the England scene—a World Cup to look forward to next year. How do you feel that's going? Yeah, it's going well. Um, you know, obviously we're still in qualification, so we need to make sure that, that we qualify first. I'm sure we will. Uh, we've got a very confident and strong squad um, going into it. And, you know, World Cups are what you dream of when you were younger, you know. But to play in a World Cup is absolutely amazing. Obviously, I was able to play um, in my first one in 2015, you know, get a bronze medal. So hopefully this time I can come away with a gold. And, of course, the women's game is growing ever more we see it with a big attendance at, at Wembley last week for the cup final do you do you feel sometimes that you're a role model that you're playing a part in helping to grow the game uh, yeah I mean obviously you know a lot of people throw that word around and it's, it's quite surreal for me to be considered as a role model you know I'm just Frank Kirby who grew up playing football in the park with the boys from school you know and it's something that I've just grown up doing all my life but you know if I'm able to be a role model for for younger girls coming through and you know showing them that you know you can get there eventually you know and if you work hard and you're dedicated then you know you'll get rewards for it and you know you'll win trophies with your team so as long as I can keep doing the right things and you know keep pushing people in the right direction and having fun while I'm doing it then yeah I'd, I'd love to be called a role model. And what's next for you? Um, you know I just want to keep building, uh, keep developing myself as a footballer and keep winning. Uh, I was saying obviously in the car when I was coming, you know, I hate losing. I can't stand it whether it's in training or, you know, even if it's like a board game, it drives me insane. Um, so I want to keep winning as much as I can, uh, winning trophies, uh, winning everything in general. Um, so hopefully I can continue to do that and continue having good performances. And maybe back next year as the uh, second women's footballer of the year. That would be lovely. Um, yeah, obviously you're putting a good word for myself tonight, maybe. <laughs> but yeah, um, you know, obviously I just want to keep playing as well as I can for my club. And if, if I'm able to get individual awards along that, then I'm doing something right. Fantastic. Thank you. Thanks, Fran. Thank you. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Good luck.